There are a couple of ways that a narcissist will handle one of your life's crises and that, that depends on the stage of the relationship, of the pattern of behaviour, of the cycle that you are in with that narcissist at the point in time that you are going through a crisis. So when a narcissist is at that love bombing stage, when they're first meeting you, when they're in that intermittent reinforcement stage or when they're at that hoover stage, where they've got that admiration face on, where they are seeking to be there for you, to create that false belief of hope that they will be there for you and be supportive of you, to give you the faith and the trust within them and the desire that they're going to help you out and to treat them right because they're being for you, being there for you so that you romanticise about how amazing this person is can be. When you're in some form of crisis, they will rock up and be there for you. They might be there for you to gain the admiration from you. So you're showering them with the praise and attention and thanking them for their help. They might be there for you so that they can further sink you into depths of depression depression and despair and feeling like you're going crazy. Meanwhile, they're telling everybody else just how much they're doing to help you and gaining that attention from those around them. They can take you to the doctors to get you on medication and then ask you to sign your home over to them because after all, they're only trying to help you. They will actually be gloating in your pain and your misery behind the scenes, behind the facade of the narcissist themselves is feeling pretty smug that you're going through something. Now you know how it feels. However, if you are in the beginning stages of the relationship, the love bombing, the intermittent reinforcement or the hoover, a narcissist can potentially be there for you when you're going through some form of crisis. However, they're not being there for you. They're being there for you because there is something in it for themselves. Or if you are going through the stages where they are devaluing you, where they're discarding you, where they're smearing your name, where they're replacing you, a narcissist will up and leave you during your crisis because they're not getting the attention that they believe that they're entitled to. You are the one with the problems. You're the one that's going crazy. You're the one that just needs to go and deal with it. A narcissist will expect you to clean up after all their messes However, they will not clean up after the messes they caused you. They will just simply blame you and then up and leave you and claim that you're the one with the problems. You're the one that needs to seek help. Only when a new source of supply isn't working out for them, they will come running back to help you at that point in crisis to hoover you back into their games. When they're not there for you, they are literally provoking feelings such of anger and hatred and fear, which they are going to use those feelings against you to toy with your emotions to hurt you all the more. And if at all possible, gain a reaction from you so they can turn around and say, see, this is why I'm not there for you. See, this is what they're like. I tried my best to help them and this is all the thanks I got so that they get the sympathetic attention from those around them. So not all narcissistic people will up and leave you in a crisis and not all narcissistic people will stick by you in a crisis. It all depends on the stage of the relationship that you are in of the cycle of a relationship with a narcissistic person.